Hello fellow collectors, I hope you are doing wonderfully well today. Around this time last year I made a video where I said I was planning on taking a break from collecting for a while, for several reasons but number one of which was to help my finances recover from the toll that collecting can take, a toll which I'm sure most of us are well aware of. And I'm really happy to say that I did take that break and I found it really useful at the time and even useful for a few months afterwards as well. Unfortunately, following that, the year then took a bit of a turn for me and became quite difficult to say the least. And so I'd say for the first sort of half of last year, my collecting habits did change. It was certainly slower, much more considered, very much less expensive and perhaps more meaningful because of all that. But the second half of the year saw more of a return to how I was collecting before, buying up a lot of things without giving it as much thought. And so, as a result, it brings me to what I'd like to talk about today, to what I've been thinking about this January 2024. Why is it so easy to accumulate rather than appreciate what we have? I guess it's a question that could be applied more generally to our consumerist culture, but it's something that I definitely think about a lot with regards to my collecting, and I'd say it's something that I struggle with. Accumulation over appreciation. At the end of December, when I was writing down my goals for this upcoming year and thinking about what I'd like to do and what I'd like to achieve, it led me to think about all the things I didn't manage to get to during 2023. And then about all the wonderful gifts that I got for Christmas, which included a good few new books to read, which I'm really excited to read. But the thing is, I already have sat on my shelves so many books that uh, have not been read yet, that for one reason or another I didn't manage to get to during 2023. And I just thought, wow, when am I going to have the time to get to these new ones? And the same can be said for games as well. I like to play games on my PC whenever I have the time. And during December, Steam ran their winter sale, and I picked up a few new titles. But I started looking through my library and of all the games that I didn't manage to play during 2023, and I thought, wow, why on earth have I just bought more? I already have so much there sat waiting to be played. And of course, the exact same thing can be said for all the Blu-rays I have as well and the enormous watch lists that I've got to get through. And so, whether it's films, games, books or any other sort of form of entertainment that I buy on a regular basis, I have sat on my shelves, whether physically or digitally, so much that is still unplayed, unread, unwatched, unexplored, and just sitting unappreciated. And that's really something that I'd like to change. Particularly at the beginning of this year, I'd like to focus on enjoying what I have instead of just buying more. In my personal collecting, I can often get titles stuck in my head. Be they expensive, special, limited collector's editions, or perhaps a box set, or perhaps a certain small group of titles. I think to myself, I absolutely must have these. And I'll start to watch unboxing videos, I'll start to watch reviews, I'll look at the prices and I'll, I'll hope for sales. And I'll almost start to obsess over them. It'll just be stuck in my head. I'll be thinking about them all the time. And I'll be thinking, if I can just get this one thing or just these two things, then I won't buy anything else for a while. You know, that'll be it, that'll be it. I'll be satisfied with this. Which, of course, is just ridiculous. It's just as delusional as waking up with a terrible hangover and thinking to yourself, oh, I'll never drink again. But then someone messages you saying, should we go to the pub for lunch? And all of a sudden, a few hours later, you find yourself right back to where you were before. Because after you eventually pay for that expensive title or that expensive box set and it arrives, well, there's another pre-order just around the corner or another release that you hear about that is just as expensive and just as special and just as much a must-have. And of course the cycle just keeps repeating itself because we're in one way we're incredibly lucky to have so many new and wonderful editions of films being released all the time. But if you're anything like me, you might have found yourself having accumulated an awful lot and some of it you definitely haven't enjoyed as much as maybe you should have. I recently watched a collection tour video of a fairly sizeable collection, and as impressive as it was, I want to say 85-90% of it was all still sealed in the plastic. And I just thought to myself, wow, what's the point in owning those things if you're not going to open them and appreciate them? 
And when they got to certain sections of their collection that I was most interested to see, I thought, oh, if only I had that, I would have opened it immediately. I would be appreciating it. But I think actually the truth is, if I also had the time and money and space, I would just be exactly the same, or let's say a lot more similar than I care to admit. I also still have plenty of things sat on my shelves that are still sealed, and some of them for much longer than I would care to admit. I think it's all too easy to let our buying outpace our watching. It only takes a few seconds to click buy on something, and then usually at least 90 minutes to later watch it. And of course that's bound to compound over time, especially when there are so many great films available on physical media and so many new wonderful films being released all the time. And if you're anything like me and enjoy blind buying, before too long you might find yourself with a hefty watch list to get through. So two things hand in hand that I'm going to try to focus on for the next few months. The first one is that I'm planning to take another break from collecting for a while. As I said, I found it really useful last year and I'm hoping this time perhaps that change in my collecting habits can last even longer into the year. And the second in particular, which has been on my mind a lot, is reducing my watch list. I started at the beginning of January with about 212 films sat on my shelves waiting to be watched. Perhaps that's a lot to some, perhaps it's not so many to others. But for me, I would love to get it down to under 100, and under 100 at all times if I possibly can. I remember a couple of years ago I got it down to around 60, which not only felt great to get to, but just felt like a much more reasonable number. And of course, step one to appreciating what I have a little bit more is at least to watch the films, right? And something that I'd like to do to try to help in that area is to stream a bit less, at least for the next few months if I can. I watched around 300 films last year, and without knowing the exact numbers, I'd say I probably bought around that same number on Blu-ray. But I would guess that I streamed at least 100 of those films that I watched, and maybe it was even more. And if I count the films that I saw at the cinema, we are well over the 100 mark. And if I hadn't done that, or I'd just done it to a lesser extent, of course I don't think I would have the same size of watch list as I do right now. Now nothing against streaming at all, it's a great way to discover films and one that I certainly enjoy, particularly with Mubi, Careson and the BFI streaming services which I all think are fantastic. But just as a little kickstart to this first quarter of the year, I think it might help me to try to stream less and just focus more on the films that I have already individually paid for that are sat on my shelves and waiting to be watched. So, for a while at least, to sum things up, buy less, watch more. Not exactly revolutionary thinking, but I'm just hoping having a little bit of focus at the beginning of this year can help me to just appreciate what I have even a little bit more than I am doing at the moment. So, aside then from the almost painfully obvious, what else can I do to appreciate what I have? Well, I often think displaying things better and more often can really help me to enjoy releases more. I recently reorganised my non-boutique shelf, which you can see here behind me, and almost miraculously managed to find some extra space, particularly on this shelf here, for some more display, which you can see I'm making the most of already. And I also recently just bought another little bookcase, which is where I store my boutiques. And though I think this is probably the last of those little bookcases I'll possibly be able to fit into my space, doing so has of course generated some more space in those shelves and so I've been making the most of it already to display some more of my boutique titles. Another thing I've been thinking about is trying to make more of the little goodies and extras that can come with certain releases and just trying to enjoy those a little bit more. A while ago I made a video going through my film poster collection as posters can often come as a little extra inside some releases. And I did so after watching Ryan at the Disconnected's video where he gave me the idea to get a film poster folder to store them in. Of course most of the ones I had were just folded up and stored in the cases and I thought oh what a great idea to be able to appreciate the, the posters a little bit more. Unfortunately, because I'm renting, I'm not able to put up anything more on the walls that I, than I already have. But having that folder to just store them in, keep them flat, keep them nice and safe, and be able to flick through every now and again, just helps me to appreciate them a little bit more than I was doing already. And I think that's the key thing here. 
if I can just start to appreciate what I have even a little bit more than I already am, then that's definitely a win in my eyes. Art cards are also something I've been thinking about too, as I'm still not too sure what to do with them. They are a very regular extra that come with so many releases. The HMB Premium Collection, for example, I think every single release comes with art cards. And so, undoubtedly, like many of us, I have a great deal of them. I have thought about perhaps using photo albums where you could store them and flick through a bit like the poster folder, or perhaps even if I could find some space on the walls or prop it up somewhere, a photo frame where you could swap them out every now and again to try and just at least have them out on display. But to be honest, I'm still kind of musing over what the best solution for them might be. If you have any suggestions or if you do anything special with yours, please do let me know as I'd love to be able to appreciate the art cards a little bit more. Another thing is the booklets that come with lots of releases, particularly the boutique releases. And now I really enjoy these. I love to read and I love reading the discussions and explorations and commentaries on the films. However, one thing that I am definitely guilty of and perhaps a bit embarrassed to admit is that usually I only read them if I particularly enjoyed the film. So if it was a perhaps more average watch, let's say, I often won't read the booklet. And actually, I think that's probably the opposite of what I should be doing, as perhaps in those explorations and discussions, I would gain a fresh appreciation for that film. And when the time came that I wanted to revisit it, I would be able to enjoy the film that much more. I guess overall the real point is to just engage more fully with each release and everything that it comes with, whether that means having some of its lovely artwork on display, engaging with the posters and extras and goodies, or just thoroughly reading the booklets to gain an appreciation of the behind the scenes or the critiques or just an exploration of the themes. And of course, all that together helps us to appreciate the films themselves even more. Well. That brings us to the end of the video and the end of my thoughts around accumulation and appreciation. These days with things like Letterbox, where you can see how many films other people are watching, with having so many great films sat on shelves waiting to be watched, so many excellent films due to be released, it's so easy to quickly move from one film to the next to the next to the next without taking much time in between. But this year I'd like to try to take a bit more time, to move a bit slower perhaps, even if that means watching a bit less, to really try to more fully appreciate every release before I move on. Well, I hope you found the video interesting, perhaps even a bit thought-provoking. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.